Hello everybody, my name is Alfin and welcome to what I think is going to be a very sad game with a lot of chill step because they usually do have that. Um, I have a feeling it is going to be quite similar to the game you left me. So get ready for tears, dog. Let's start it. Okay, trigger warning. There are mentioned of suicide and self-harm again in this game. Well, that's good that they have that in there. Perfect for staying inside and finishing my work. Oh. Flags. Not saying I'm gay, but that's also kind of what I'm saying. <laughs> tea. Sometimes I sip tea and fantasize about living a quiet life in a small lighthouse while writing poetry by candlelight. Isn't that wonderful? Plants? Filling my heart by filling my room with plants. Isn't that wonderful? I don't know why whenever I do, whenever I narrate things, it ends up being a, a sort of a British type accent. Mirror. A, a classic lazy look. I'm adulting successfully. Um, no, you're not, because if you're adulting su successfully, you'd be wearing boxer shorts and a tank top. So, not so much, but yeah, cool. Laptop. Work stuff. Whatever that is. What even is a four dimension shape? Ugh, I need to work. But I'm so bored, I can't focus. Uh, Goth Jeff's iPhone wants to send you a note. What's this? Should I accept it? Accept anything from the Goth GF. Um, accept? So cute! I I okay, yeah, I don't really like little dogs, but that's pretty, that's pretty funny. It's a little marshmallow. Send me back! Thank you for a dog. I wonder if she'll respond. Will she respond? Oh, she responded. You're welcome. So, Pastel Princess MacBook Pro, what are you up to? Uh, existential crisis. Existential crisis, my dude. What about you? This is exactly how I talk to girls. <laughs> oh, I feel you. I hope I'm not distracting or bothering you. I am K. I don't know what that means. If you ever want to have a crisis together, I'm currently procrastinating on some work with makeup. Let's see the makeup. Thank you, you're sweet. Let's see the makeup. I'm sure you worked hard on it. Send us. Oh. Oh. We got Goth Jeff. Tell me I'm beautiful, mother. You're the cutest. Hi. You're the most beautiful. Goth GF! Send you a note. I want you wrapped in my arms like a burrito. Be my burrito. <laughs> oh my god, no you? You're so cute. Go out with me. Yes! Yes, wanna meet later tonight outside my room? 206. Meet you. Yes! I'll see you. Oh, we're a cute little gay lesbian relationship couple. Isn't that adorable? So I gotta do stuff till 9 o'clock. Okay, wonderful. Wait, what's this? Oh, that's music. What's this? Yep, that sounds good. Okay, so work stuff? Nope. Right. Later that night, I went out to meet Goth GF. Before I left, my roommate opened her door. Oh, hello! You're leaving? When will you get back? Probably after nine. Oh. Why? Um, no reason. Okay, bye then. She has a crush on me! She's gonna kill herself! Wait! Um, before the day ends... Happy birthday! You remembered? No one else remembered. I didn't even remember. Of course I remembered. Oh, oh, she's singing. She sang for me sweetly. Yes, she did. Thank you, thank you, May. You're too wonderful. You're too sweet for this world, May. Oh, May, why? No, thank you for being my friend. What? What? Why are you telling me this? I just thought life is short. No, man, I see where this is going. Why not express my appreciation for the people I care about? May! 
In that case, you're also an amazing friend. Thanks for being my friend too. Aww. Isn't that wonderful? I'll see you later. Goodbye. No, it's never goodbye. I met up with Goth GF. She told me her name, Amy. We walked to the roof, laid out a blanket, and watched the stars. Let time pass. Sky arts. Sky. The sky's gorgeous tonight, isn't it? I know, right? I'm forever that girl that gets really excited when the sky is in pretty colors. What do you think of when you look at the sky? What do you guys think of when you look at the sky? I think of dragons. You know, dragons that, you know, breathe fire and, you know, all that shit. Nothing, for once. Only a feeling. Damn. Nothing? You know when your mind is constantly noisy? That's called tinnitus! I look at the sky and realize it's so much bigger than me. My problems mean nothing compared to it. And my mind quiets. That's so poetic. Airdrops! So, how many strangers did you airdrop besides me? Everyone that showed up. Haha. <laughs> Maybe five. Did you meet all of them? Nah. Only you. I'm special! Ah, oh, Amy. Calm down, Amy. I'm the only one! You are always the only one to send something back. Haha. <laughs> oh, I was also. Why did you reply? I don't know. Bored. Wanted to meet people. Meet people? Yeah, I have a lot of friends, but I want more. You don't need a lot of friends. You, you only need a, a small group of, of close friends. Especially close ones. You don't have any right now? Well, I used to have close friends, but we grew apart. And that tends to happen, boys and girls. I feel you. It's always sad when someone you shared close personal moments with grows distant. Yeah. It's left a void in my heart, you know. And I try to fill it by meeting new people, talking, dating, sleeping around. Don't ever do that! Don't don't sleep around. Don't. But no matter how many people I meet, I'm still lonely. See, if you if you sleep around, it's not gonna fill that little void in your heart. Just find that one special person. Just find them. They're out there. Just look. Just find. They're out there. Uh, filling the void. Is that what you're doing right now? Trying to fill the void with me? Maybe. Yeah, close friends who you can trust anytime, anywhere, are the best. There's gonna be times where you have none. During those times, I try to improve myself and learn to love the version of me that is now alone. Huh? Learning to love yourself is hard. Yeah, it kinda is. Uh, let time pass. As the sky darkened, I grew addicted to Amy's smile. Oh, isn't that sweet? It's getting late. We should head back. Oh, I don't want to head back. I want to stay up here and cuddle with you and kiss you and all that junk and maybe get a little late. But that's okay. You're cute. Goodbye, kiss. Mwah! Yas! Oh, no, wait. I forgot about May! Why? You're the cutest. No, you viewers, you're the cutest. Haha, <laughs> I'll see you later. See you. I turned my phone off to save battery. On my way back home, I checked my phone. Mate, you're a great friend, it's not your fault. I'm scared. Hey, sweetie, how was you? No! No! May! When I came back home, I felt cold, nervous, but I didn't know why. It's because of May. May! Where's May's room? Door. Don't come in. Call the police. They'll know what to do. Love May. Don't come in my room. No! May! Don't come in. Call the police. They'll know what to do. Don't come in the room. Open the door! The door felt heavier than usual as I opened the door. No! No! What the shit? I saw the body hanging. The smell. The sight. There was no blood, but I felt blood on my hands. I felt myself looking down on the scene. Myself, her, 
The police that eventually came, a disembodied feeling, and heard myself scream endlessly. Nay, hey, why'd you kill yourself? Oh, she hung herself with a belt too. What do I do? Oh god. My disembodied self watched me move and talk like an actor in the surreal circus I found myself in. I've heard strangers and friends alike talk. Damn. Did you hear what happened? No what? Someone committed suicide. That's so sad. Who? Where? The second floor. You probably don't know her. May? No, but that sucks. See, that's the only reaction that we get is... It, yeah, it, it's a pity reaction. It's not an actual sad reaction. It's, it's pity. No one's actually sad about, you know, people dying. Like, kill, killing themselves and shit. Most pitied the way the way she went, but didn't miss her. But I remembered her smile, her laugh, the way she'd kind she'd be kind in small ways. I couldn't forget her. When new people came into my life, I searched for her for her in them. I couldn't help it. I hope she was still there. It was only during the funeral that reality sunk in. Ah. Oh. At the funeral, I heard her singing, now sad and slow. Oh no! No! <laughs> oh, that is so sad! Her singing when everyone else forgot and her not being there anymore to remember. As I listened to her, my disembodied self crashed down to reality. The pain hit, this time without the anesthesia of shock. This was real. She was dead, and we were putting her in the ground. The end missed. No one saw it coming. Could I have? Was there a message I missed? Alright, I want to try and get a different ending. So that, you know, May doesn't die. Oh, this is different. A heavy blizzard stretched on for miles. In the distance, I saw a figure. May? It's not safe here. May, is that you? Come back. She just smiled, looking content amidst the dangerous hail. As if she was going somewhere better, as if she hadn't heard my voice. Lost in the blizzard. Damn. Don't go, please. Don't go alone. She disappeared into the snow. I'd missed my chance. Oh, it continues! I wake up in a cold sweat, fearful but not sure why. What was that about? Never mind that, I should start work. <gasps> oh! oh! I need to work, but that dream, I can't focus. Okay, I'm gonna decline. Work. I do some work and start wondering when I'll ever have to use this in real life. Where is Bill Nye when I need him to answer my important questions? I'm gonna decline and work. Hmm. Planes. X equals MX. Uh, y equals MX plus B. I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> After some time, I start to lose focus. It's weird I hear voices. Seems like they're coming from my roommate's moon room. Um. The daughter of my roommate, May. Getting closer, I hear voices. Listen. Although my Chinese was bad, I could still detect an angry Chinese mother when I heard one. Oh, that's what happened. Tai Lan Li Wei Shen Mi Bu. Too lazy, why don't you? Her mother's fast. Lecturing Chinese sometimes paused for May's soft murmur of affir affirmation, then continued. I felt like I was listening to something I shouldn't have, so I distanced myself from the door. Back to the laptop. Decline. No. Work. I made a valiant attempt at working. After some minutes, I get tired and want to take a break. Let's take a break. The noise from my roommate's room has quietened down. Let's go see. Let's go see if May's alright. The door of my roommate, May. I wonder if I should check up on her. Knock. I hesitated, then knocked. For some reason, I feared what I might find. Hello? Oh, she's there! Oh, thank God, May, you're still, you're still alive! Oh, my heart dropped.
Yes? Um, shit, what I should- what should I say? You okay? I just wanted to make sure you're okay. I heard noises from your room earlier. Oh, thank you. I'm fine. Uh, well, I'm kind of sad, but don't worry about me. Do you want to hang out with me in case you don't want to be alone? I'd like that, but I have work to do. Take a break. You always have work to do. You should take a break. Besides, we haven't hung out for such a long time, and I miss you. Uh, I could use a break, to be honest. And I miss you too. Okay, hold on a sec. Yes! She went back into her room to get something. When she came back, we laid on my bed, looking out at the setting sun. Stuffy! So what are you holding? Oh, my pug. <laughs> I call him Potato. Oh, he looks so well, uh, so well loved. Yeah, he is. My dad gave him to me. That's so sweet. Yeah, it's your birthday, right? Haha, <laughs> I forgot, you remembered? Of course I did. Ah, oh, she's singing again. Ah, oh, May, your sweet, beautiful voice. She sang me happy birthday. Oh, thank you for remembering. As the years flew by, my birthday became like any other day. No one else had remembered it either, but she had. How are you? So, how have you been? Fine, I'm, I'm just tired. Big mood? How so? I don't know, like, a bone deep tiredness. Day after day. That is mean you're depressed! Do you think you're depressed? Um, maybe? I took antidepressants a long time ago, but felt like they didn't work. That sucks. Maybe it's the type of antidepressant? Maybe you need to try a different one. Uh, don't take my advice, actually. I know nothing. I'm Jon Snow. I know nothing. Uh, me neither. Not just about this, but in general. I feel you. Has it gotten better? The tiredness? Not really, but now I kind of just want to die. Oh! Suicidal. Are you suicidal? That's a heavy question. <laughs> um, oh my god, sorry, was that too blunt? Feel free not to answer. No, you're good. Yeah, I think about it sometimes. I feel like we all do, though. I imagine how it'll go down, how it'll look, smell, the aftermath. Whether anyone would care that I was gone, not just about how I went. Are you serious? Do you think about it seriously? Um, I'd rather not say. That means yes. Sometimes I think about it, then I'm stopped by the thought of the pain I'll cause others. Um, professional help. Have you considered getting professional help? I don't know. Good doctors seem so rare. That is true. I've had a bad experience with mental health resources at school, at least. I'll come with you. I'm afraid. You don't need to be afraid. You've got me, May. You've got all of us. You've got the viewers. The 148 viewers at this point in time. I'll come with you to find a good doctor. We'll, f we'll drive to every place in this town until we find a good one. You'd do that for me? Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Oh, she's so sweet. Look at me. She's so sweet. Uh, dream, stare outside, let time pass. We talked more about everything and nothing. From TV shows and memes to our worst fears and biggest desires. Before we knew it, evening dawned. I gotta go. I have work. Don't go! Yeah, good luck. I'm always down to hang again. Yay! Thank you for listening to me. It really means a lot. It really, it really should. Although I always had work, I didn't regret talking with May one bit. Inner door. May's door is open. I wonder where she is. Is she outside? The door to the outside world. Bathroom! No. Oh, come on, May! Come on, girl! I opened the door to my roommate, May. She didn't seem to hear or see me. May! Hey, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm, I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? I... 
Are you really okay? You don't look okay. I need to go. Hug her! Wait, don't go. Can I hug you? She nodded slightly. Yes! I hugged her. I wanted to say something yet, but didn't want to break the silence. After a pause, she spoke. Thank you. I, I guess I'm not okay. I just say I'm okay because it's a gut reaction. That is true! That is very, very true. I don't really feel okay, but I don't want to bother anyone. Especially you. You're so kind. I made soothing, soothing motions on her back. Why are you sad? I don't know. I... May. I don't really want to talk talk right now. I, that's okay. I'm here for you. I'm not a professional or anything, but when you need to talk, I'll always listen. Thank you again. Is there anything I can do? Hug. Just hug. Oh, isn't that sweet? It's been months since that day. May and I have gotten closer. I'd even consider her a best friend. In dark moments, we held each other's hands. Although I supported her, I didn't want to feel responsible for her. Didn't want uh, for her. Didn't want her to depend to be dependent on me. So we drove to every therapist in town until we found one she liked. Yes. One night, May hugged me by surprise. May, thank you. What for? I uh, I don't know how to say this without seeming emotionally constipated. <laughs> Thanks for caring about me, for listening to me. I couldn't tell you before I was sad, but I... Because I was sad, but I appreciate you. Really. Anytime. Thank you too for being my friend. You teach me to be more kind. Oh my god, no you! <laughs> no you, Uno Reverse! Oh, that's wonderful. Later on that night, she gave me a note, both haunting and touching. It read, I was buried in the blizzard. The snow pelted my powerful felt a powerful and unpredictable never-ending. I weakly cried for help and no one came, my voice lost in the snow. But you saw my messages. You grabbed a shovel, helped, and I couldn't and I could finally open my door. The end hope. There's something to look forward to after all. Thank you for playing. By Angela He, inspired by real life Evan and Junji Ito. Oh, so did something like this, of course something like this actually happened, but to the developer, well, yeah, I want to see if there's something else. Okay, yeah, no, that was it. Okay, so, um, that touched on a lot, that was a heavy game, but if you are suffering from any of that, this is very not soothing music for that, but if you, uh, if you are touch, if you feel any sort of feeling of that, talk to a friend, talk to anyone. Talk to a doctor. Go see a therapist. Go get medication. Even though some medications don't work. Just go see somebody instead of doing stuff like this. Because you're not only hurting yourself, you're hurting other people. If you're feeling something heavy on you, in your head, in your chest, just go see someone. Leaving on that note, remember to like, subscribe, comment, click on that notification button. I'll see all of you dudes in the next video. Bye bye.